Welcome back to Snipe City Cards. Now the content hasn't been great lately. Uh, we're going to dig deep on this video. It's been busy. Got some time to really go into detail on this. Uh, this is our Beckett submission. We've been waiting for this since April, since the Toronto Card Show. Uh, we're going to go into detail on every single card here and some interesting stuff. Uh, first off, here's our box and props to Beckett. Uh, because there has been a few times where I've had to... Uh, I sent a Marner and a Matthews into Beckett uh, 2020. Young Guns back when they were worth a fair bit, I think. In the middle of COVID, maybe 2021. And uh, I got I got hit with duties. I tried to fight them, but uh, like ultimately it was like... It was a fair bit. It was like over 100 bucks. So um, it's nice that Beckett's putting this on here on their package. This package uh, contains items not purchased. They were just examined and sent back. So... Uh, they are not anything that needs to be dealt with with customs. On the downside, uh, having this on the front here really uh, basically uh, lets the entire world, including anybody at FedEx, know that this is a Beckett submission full of cards. And uh, when you've had your cards stolen or damaged from Beckett like we did a few years ago, uh, it's you kind of wish that they don't market it as so with their big letter head on the top but let's see what else is in here it's just another form we're not going to show all of it here but it does show that uh, it's just a detailed form that says these are my products being returned to me so that's kind of nice let's get into the box all right here we go this is heavy kill a man with this brick um, surprisingly very, very heavy, considering it's uh, 32 cards, 32 slabs. At the card show, kind of went in on a limb and sent a bunch of this stuff in, but uh, hopefully we can... Wow, it's quite packaged in here. Hopefully we can show you the valuations, whether it was worth it for a lot of these cards. Now, some of these were just cards we just wanted to get a grade on. And a lot of them were, that's probably the majority of them. But some of them were stuff that we did think would get a good grade. Including, and especially, let's get these out of the way here first. Including and especially the speckled Trevor Zegris that was in substantially better condition than this one that we sent to PSA. We got a PSA 10 on this one. I'm telling you that other Zegris was immaculate. Better than this one. So, uh, am I expecting a black label 10? No. Am I expecting a 10? I don't know. Uh, would it be great if we got a black label 10? Would be over the moon. But let's get into this in, we'll try and do them in order by uh, card serial number that we sent them in. First up, we've got a Kale McCarr patch. 6 of 15, this has a Beckett 8.5, edges are at 8, so that's what knocked the grade down. I mean, the edges on these weren't great, but the irony is these are the better ones out of all of them. Um, mixed ideas about this, did want to get this graded and encapsulated, was kind of expecting an 8.5. Uh, the patch, when you have the card not under a piece of plastic, it's a bit hard to tell. It is a detailed 3D patch, it is awesome. Second up here was Alex Ovechkin. Same card, number 13 of 15. It's got the exact same grades. Uh, you can see the chipping on the side there. We've got a few of these Ovechkins, so uh, there you go on that one. Would have been nice to get one of them to hit a 9. Same kind of thing, the patch, super detailed. It's a shame that it's in a slab, but uh, we did want to get those uh, fully authenticated there. All right, so we fixed these stacks in order so let's get to them now we rearrange them in order here uh, so we got a lot of these austin matthews rookie threads flashback this is from 2021-22 upper deck series 2 this is an epac achievement only there were patch cards of these 15 of them uh, we got a lot of these these ones there was only 99 of them they're not numbered but there are only 99 of them uh, this had uh, two 9.5s and nine this had an eight on surface and i can't quite figure out why but there you go eight on surface on that one uh next up we've got uh, another one this is 9.5 on edges nine across the board everywhere else 
We have another 8.5. This has an 8 on centering. It's off to the right a fair bit. Uh, we have another 9. Now, these are a bit thicker cards. It's always tough getting good grades on these thicker cards. This one, pretty decent, 9 across the board. Uh, we got a 9.5 with a 9 on surface, 9.5s everywhere else. So that one's pretty solid here. Got another 9. This is an 8.5 on centering. A little low, I guess. A little to the right. I don't know. It doesn't seem like that much of a difference to drop from a 9.5 to an 8.5. Uh, we got another 9.5 surface, a 9. The rest of them 9.5. So a couple of them, which isn't bad. Once again, I wasn't expecting great grades from these, but uh, this one's another 9 on the cusp of a 9.5. We have another 9 with an 8.5 on centering. It's a little high into the right. Got another 9. And that's the end of those Matthews rookie threads. Uh, we have our black and white... Piotr Kochekov. I don't recall if we graded this with PSA before sending it back. I don't recall, but almost a 10. Our edges got a 9, surprisingly. We got two 10s and a 9.5. So that sits at a 9.5. That one's not too bad. We've got Kirill the Thrill Kaprizov. Young Guns Canvas, true 9.5 across the board. We've got a Joseph Wall Speckled Young Guns. True 9.5 across the board. This one was also in pretty good condition. Wasn't sure what that would get. Uh, here's the biggest one. Trevor Zegris. One of the nicest cards we've seen quality-wise. It got true 9.5 across the board. I'm not going to complain on that grade because it's a pretty solid grade. But honestly, I, I'm, I'm a little surprised there's no 10s on this. Just for... like I don't know if you guys can, can see it on here. This is pretty much a flawless card. Everything was so sharp, no whitening, pretty much perfect across the board. I wonder if that got cracked and sent in a few more times if that grade would change. We've got a Timothy Liljegren, uh, Opeachy Platinum Matte Pink Rookie. That is numbered to 99. Uh, 9.5, 10 on edges, and the autograph had a 10. So that's pretty solid Liljegren. And last but not least on the hockey side before we get into Peter stuff is a Mitch Marner Goodwin Champions Certified Diamond Dealer Autograph. Now, this says 2018, but it is a 2017 card. I don't know how they botched that. We did write 2017 on our uh, listing. That technically makes us a rookie. 16-17 uh, was his rookie year. This was manufactured in 2017. I uh, would want to get in touch with them on that uh, typo there. Centering got an 8.5 as it's sitting a bit high. So we'll see what Beckett says about that. The last time they mislabeled two of my cards, they didn't even respond to me over email. That was last year. Hopefully that gets a little bit better. Uh, now let's get into Peter's soccer cards. Now, man, some of these soccer guys. First, let's get into this. Produced in the USA. Surprisingly, I thought these would be the Italian cards. These cards are all cut pretty clean. 9-5 with a 10 on edges for Julian Alvarez. That's the first one there. We've got another Alvarez 10. Pristine, only a 9.5 on the edges. We've got another Alvarez. It's kind of weird that it's, you know, the name is this way, but then on the back... Kind of a bit annoying, but uh, 9.5 is 10 on surface. And these are one of, they're not numbered each, but there's only 29.54 of each of them produced. We got another one. Let's just go this way. 9.5, 10 on surface. We have one that's a 9 with an 8.5 on edges. Now, I don't recall. Peter was pretty strict on all these ones. So that one's a bit of an outlier. Uh, and then we got a bunch of Lionel Messi. 10 pristine with a 9.5 on centering. Uh, we've got 9.5 with a 10 on corners. 
We've got another 10 to 9.5 on centering. We've got another 9.5. 10's on everywhere, 9 on centering. Just a bit lower, I guess, yeah. Sitting a bit lower. Um, got another 9.5, 10 on surface. They're all 10s on surface. Peter got some crazy good grades here. 9.5 on centering, 10s across the board on the rest of them. This one's a 10 on centering, 9.5 on edges. It's like this one's sitting a fair bit higher and to the left. Uh, we got another one. Ten. Okay, where's these last two? Ten on centering. Yeah, I guess they're pretty similar. Just killing it with these pristine tens on these messy cards. Also, these ones. Twenty-two thousand eighty-one. One more card to go here. There you go, 9.5, 10 on surface. So that's the end of part one. And uh, part two, we're going to do a whole recap on the valuation. It's going to be hard to find some comps on some of these, but we're going to see um, if it was worth it, basically, to send this into Beckett. We'll get you all the details there. Thanks for watching and see you in part two.